Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I will explain the connection between Factory IO as a client and the Modbus uh, as a server. Uh, Modbus TCP IP as a server by using the Arduino. And then I will explain the code. So, um, just for basic things, you must go to drivers and then you must uh, choose the Modbus TCP client because you are client and the Arduino server and you must go to configuration and set the IP and set the coil and set the holding register that's enough okay then choose the right register you send with Arduino so you must change the register to your purpose okay never choose another register that, that you uh, don't know what they hold so use the register that you sent from by by with the mapping I made for you okay then click the connect and boom everything okay so after that you can switch to run you say you uh, you watch the red indicator will illuminate so um, okay I will click the button just be careful from AC current because there is dangerous okay so after that we can uh, try the right okay uh, we can also oh, there is a problem with the AC power We can um, try the analog. Third one, the first one. Okay. Uh, we can use the screen. I I I don't know if you can see there is something change here, but believe me, that's change. Okay, that's it about the factory I/O we connect the factor IO with this uh, device so we don't need factory IO anymore exit um, then we don't need our panel ok so we turn off anything and go to the program so the program okay that's good we define the SPI you must define the SPI if you want to know about SPI you can check the Arduino website just write Arduino SPI and read about this protocol <coughs> then we define the Ethernet because we have we're using the I think WESNET chipset for Ethernet shield and define the liquid crystal. <clears throat> I use this pin 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, and 32 for uh, my project. Okay, and define the LCD and include library modbus.h. This header file you must download it from GitHub okay uh, this library have many I think four project so I use this example and edit it so I use MB example in MB example there's some explain 
you must uh, know about the Ethernet you cannot use this pin for 10 11 12 and 13 because uh, the Ethernet shield talking through these pins so define my screen define some MAC address anything and IP you you need it if you change the class of IP please 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 change the subnet okay if the class don't meet the subnet there is a problem so make them uh, like you know Plus A or B or C. Everyone have a special subnet. So after that, the Ethernet will begin, and some delay. You can reduce this delay. <coughs> and pin we am use for input: six pin for push button and four pin for relay. This will illuminate the light using relay, and this will. Uh, input will be input this code is uploaded on the github my github okay we go to important thing the loop there is three mbr this is defined in this library modbus.h so mbr0 this is will be analog because we defined it as analog read from analog 8 okay this is first potentiometer this is second one and this is third one so this is register and this is real address hardware also for uh, analog output I'm use LCD here okay you can use anything you need but I use LCD LCD like sold state never change N not like a servo or or something I just like it so I use LCD set cruiser or something and set the place you need so this is for register 6 7 8 and 9 just like that after that we will define MBRC for digital we have digital input if you write like that will be digital input if you write like that digital right will be digital output so I will read from 23 this will, will, will send with this register this pin would will send with this register this six uh, six uh, push button and this is for the relay just like that you can find the code on the github and you can make your change on it okay uh, in this video we have take a look about the factory IO and how to connect it with the Modbus and uh, take a look about the Modbus uh, program or Modbus software so uh, the last video will be about the PID okay thank you